Welcome to Simple Trust Analysis, Part 4, <clears throat> and we're going to continue on. Uh, we last left off, I, we had, were getting the internal forces, force AB and force AC of, at joint 1, and now we're going to move on to joint B. Get a clean slate here. And we're going to start, and as I had mentioned, it's all about where you put the xy axis, your axis orientation, if you will. That's the key to this problem. So here's B, right there. And we know that <clears throat> FAB is coming in, and it's 8 kips. Yeah, that's correct. We have a 3 kip load of external force coming in. And then we have FBD, and then FBC. And this is a right angle. Let's change colors. This is a right angle. This is a right angle. Right angle means 90 degrees. And like I said, this is all about how you do your x, y axis. Let's do that in purple or pinkish. We are going to set our x, y axis like so. And this just simplifies the problem exponentially. You don't have to try to break up FBD, FBC, and 8. Now you just have to break up 3 kips. And we already know this is not an unknown, so we can break up the 3 kips into known components, which isn't a problem. But what we also need to know, and what we do know, is this angle right here is 30 degrees. And if you want to verify that, go back to the original structure and it won't be a problem. You can figure it out. Alright. So we want to use our equilibrium equations again. And remember our x-axis is going this way, and our y-axis is going that way. So where can we isolate? Well, we can isolate either FBD or FBC. We'll go ahead and do Y first. Do the sum of the forces in the Y direction equals zero. Equals, we have a negative BC and that's going down. We defined up positive Y direction like that. So it's a negative BC. And then we have 8 and FBD are completely in the X direction, so we have to figure out what are the components of 3 kips. And remember, like I, I mentioned in the last video, that your hypotenuse will always be your, your load, and your components will be your, your cosine and sine, if that makes any sense. Your, your, your components will be the in, in other words, this will always be a right, a right angle, not right here. Don't, don't make a mistake while making this the right angle. and that, Therefore, you're making your hypotenuse one of your components, which is not correct. You definitely do not want to do that. So that's what we're looking at. And we know what? This is 30 degrees. All right, so when you have these things, and you know the hypotenuse, you're always going to use the sine and cosine. So we're just going to go ahead and define this as 3, and it's adjacent, so we're going to call it cosine 30. And this is opposite, so it's going to be sine 3 sine 30. All right, and since we know those, we're just going to go ahead and solve for them, as opposed to leaving them as 3 sine 30 and 3 cosine 30. 3 sine 30 is 1.5, and that's kips which is a thousand pounds. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. Then 3 cosine 30 is, let's say 2.6. It's not 2.60 exactly, but we're going to say 2.60 rounded. 2.60 kips, that's 1.5 exactly. All right, now those are our components. This is going to be our y component, and that's going to be negative, so let's go ahead and put that in there. 2.60 kips. And that's our, that's our our y component, our, our, all of our forces in our y direction, so we solve. FBC turns positive, 
FBC equals a negative 2.6, and remember that negative kips is compression. And then we're going to go ahead and solve for some of the forces in the x direction equals zero. In the x direction, we have a positive eight kips. We have FBD, which we've assumed is going positive. We'll find out if that's correct. And then we also have the x component of three kips, and that is a negative, since it's going this way, a negative 1.5 kips. 8 to minus 1.5 is 6 kips, and then when we flip it over to the other side, it's going to be negative 6 kips. So we know if FBD is 6 kips in compression as well. Did I do that? No, I didn't do it. It's 6.5. I didn't do the math right. 8 minus 6.5 or 1.5 is 6.5 kips, and that's compression since it's negative. And now we have those two answers, and I'm going to go ahead and circle them. We have FBC and FBD. Now let's transfer that back to our main page. So we have a going uh, a, a constant. Usually you do this on one sheet, but obviously on the computer it's a little bit different. So we had FBC equals, we said, 2.6 kips in compression. And we had FBD equals 6.5 kips in compression. And going back, we, since these were both opposite, remember, and I should, probably should have done this right away, just so it doesn't confuse, but since those are in compression and they were negative, we have to change the convention of these two loads. So now, it, it's a little bit less confusing, unless you're really smart and know that, hey, it's I, I followed through and said it was compression, and I can know how to do that. I like just change the arrows. It, it's, it makes a lot more sense to me. All right, so that is that is that. Now we're going to go on to either let's go back to the the main page here. We can go on to to joint C or joint D. And you have to ask yourself, okay, what which one has less less unknowns? So we now know BC, we know AC, so we'd have D, CD and we'd have CE. Well, good thing about this is you can isolate CE because that's a uh, some uh, a force in the x direction only, so you could isolate F C D very easily. So we're going to do that. We're going to go and we're going to do the analysis at joint C. And this is why they call it method of joint because you honestly just go joint to joint to joint to joint, which it makes sense. All right, so we come down here, and there is our joint C. Hi, Liam. Help. Okay. All right, and here is joint C. We have something coming up right here. And something coming up right there. And it probably behoove me to drive this, draw this a little bit larger, but for right now, that'll work. <clears throat> we have F, C, D. We have F, C, E. Once again, I'm assuming they're coming out and they're in tension. Even though I may know otherwise. 2.6 kips. And 6.93 kips. Those are our knowns. We know A, C, and B, C. F, A, C, and F, A, B, C. And let's go ahead and put our... 60, these are all 60 degree angles. 60 degree angle, 60 degree angle. All right, there we go. Now uh, we want to figure out what is, well, we want to figure out what's the easiest to isolate. And initially I'm thinking, okay, FCE is only in the X direction, so we can isolate FCD a lot easier because 
if we can do the sum of the forces in the y direction. Because we can, FCE is only going to be x direction. So let's go ahead and blow this up over here. FCE. We know that this is 60 degrees. This is FCD. And it's going to go right there and up the components. And we know 60 degrees. So we know, once again, we know the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and F. This is going to be your cosine since it is adjacent. And this will be your sine since it is opposite. All right. So we want to, we're looking at the y direction. So we got to break 2.6 down into components as well. Unless you remember it from last problem, which I do not have it on me, so I'm just going to do this. It's going to be coming down. That's going to be coming down. And we know which, this is 60. There we go. And this is going to be adjacent. This is going to be Sorry, I, I hear this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song, if anybody knows who, what that is. <laughs> it's hard to concentrate. All right. It's, it, uh, we have the, this is going to be the, the cosine of 60. And this is going to be 2.6 kips cosine 60. All right. And they equal, they equal 2.25 kips. The sheet 2 didn't show up. And then this equals 1.3 kips. All right, so we're looking in the y direction. We want to look at right here. So that's our y component, which is a negative 2.25 kips. Your FAC is 6.93, all in the x direction, so that's not a problem. And then our FCD, you should just think about it, and that's going to be... It's going to be the, the, the y component has to be the y component has to be 2.25. I hope that makes sense what I was trying to convey there. F in other words, F FCD sine 60 has to equal 2.25. All right, so we solve for FCD and we get 2.25. 2.25, we'll switch that over, divided by sine 60. And 2.25 divided by sine 60 equals 2.60. And that's 2.6. So, okay, well, it's the same. It comes down, then it goes right back up. All right, that makes sense. And then, since it's, <clears throat> excuse me, since that equals that, this will equal that. I hope that makes sense to you. That FCE equals 6.93 kips and it, it should be in tension and FCD e is tension as well since it's going out but let's go ahead and solve for FCE FCE equals well that's not what we want to do we want to do the sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero and we're going to have a negative 6.93 and then we have your, you really could cancel out these two components because you know those x components are both going to be the same, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, it's a positive 1.3 kips is the x component of this 2.6. Then we're going to have a, n actually it's going to be positive. I may, be, I may have made a wrong assumption right here. I may, may, may have made a wrong assumption. And forget what I said here. This, let's get rid of that. Let's do it, work it out. You have negative 6.93. You have plus 1.63 or 1.3 and then you're also going to have FD cosine thir uh, 60. FD cosine 6, 2.6 cosine 60 equals 1.3 plus another 1.3 and then you also have FCE and that's also plus. Let's do the math. And you actually get FCE equals 4.33 in tension. 
All right, and there it is. We're going to transfer that over to next page.